Alright, here it is. Here we go. King James Version of the Bible. Um, we're going to do the, what is it? The Book of Moses, the first book of Moses called Genesis, page 3. It's going to be starting off right after um, Genesis 3, 16 and 17. We're going to go into it, but at first I do want to say, like, I get where a lot of this is coming from, and I, I get what this is. There's a reason I'm reading the Bible. Read it with me if you want to, but please don't think that I'm making fun of anybody or anybody's beliefs or religion, and I'm just, I'm not with that toxic shit about, like, I'm going to shit on you because of what you believe. Nothing is like that. If you're easily offended, is someone reading the Bible and not understanding it or being like, what the fuck does that mean, then... I would suggest you turn away at this point in time. This is the King James Bible for kids who can't read good and, in parentheses, who want to learn to do other things good, too. So, here we go. We're going to be starting uh, Genesis chapter 2, verse 18. No, 17. Let's just set, let's do 17. Here we go. And unto Adam... He said, because thou hast hearkened unto the voice of thy wife, and hast eaten of the tree, of which I commanded thee, saying, Thou shalt not eat. It cur eat of it. Cursed is the ground for thy sake. In sorrow shalt thou eat of it all the days of thy life. So you're like, you're fucked. You ate from that stuff. Uh, cursed is the ground that you walk, and you're going to regret this forever. Which is kind of fucked up. Like, if you're God, you should probably be bigger than that. That's kind of messy. Thorns also and thistles shall it bring forth to thee. And thou shalt eat the herb of the field. We're not sure which field. Um, because all we have is, like, whales and penguins and, and creepy crawlies and stuff so far. For out of it wist thou taken, for dust thou art, and unto dust thou shalt return. Now, like, that sounds hardcore. Like, I want to say that to a motherfucker before I fucking spray him, like, right in the face. Pow! Bleh, bleh, you know? But, like, on paper that sounds hardcore, but that doesn't make a lot of sense. Because if you think about it, and Adam called his wife's name, e hold on. No, 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 we were before that. Thorns also and thistles shall it bring forth to thee, and thou shalt eat the herb of the field. In the sweat of thy face shalt thou eat bread, and thou return unto the ground, for out of it waste thou taken, for dust thou art, and unto dust thou shalt return. That's fucking hardcore. Look, no, I, I can read that 17 times. I wouldn't know what it means, but I'm trying. Thorns also and thistles shall it bring forth for thee, and thou shalt eat the herb of the field. So it's like, it's going to bring you pain and suffering, dog. And you're going to reap what you sow. You know what I'm saying? Uh, In the sweat of thy face shalt thou eat of it, wast Thou taken in the sweat of thy face shalt thou eat bread till thou return unto the ground. For out of it wast thou taken, for dust thou art, and unto dust thou shalt return. So I, I made you out of clay, I'll put you right back there, you know. The sweat of thy face, you know, you eat. The, my bread, you sweat, my sweat, you are part of me, I guess, is what we're trying to say. And Adam called his wife's name Eve. Oh, shit, dude, it's about time we got to there. Called his wife's name Eve, because she was the mother fucker. Holy shit. Are we going there? She was the mother of all living, and unto Adam also, and to his wife did the Lord God make coats of skins and close them. Like, here, here's the thing. They weren't 
shy about being naked earlier because there was nothing wrong with it. And then the devil was like, hey, you know, you motherfuckers want to eat from this tree and stuff. And now there's something wrong with them being naked. And there's nothing wrong with them being naked. So God's like, why is that something that's wrong with you? But now I see your aprons or whatever that you stitch together out of like fucking plants or whatever. Now I'm going to give you pelts to clothe you. That doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Is it wrong to be naked or is it right to be naked? Do Did we create that it's wrong for us to be naked for you in the wrong sense, in a wrong way, and cover cover ourselves because the devil was like, hey, you're naked, you know that, right? And, like, we just put our own little, like, cross straps on or whatever. But then you clothed us, which is also very confusing. If I'm being honest, man sent from the garden. Okay, I'm assuming this is where we get kicked out. And the Lord God said, Behold! Behold! The man is become as one of us to know good and evil. And now, lest he put forth his hand, he take also of the tree of life and eat and live forever. Therefore the Lord God sent forth from the garden of Eden till the ground from whence he was taken. The Lord God said, Behold, behold, the man is become as one of us. Now I have a puppy. To know good and evil, and now, lest he put forth his hand, and take also of the tree of life and eat, and therefore ever, therefore the Lord sent him forth from the garden. He kicked him out. He said, bro, you, you, you can blame it on your girlfriend, but like, we know you ate that fruit. Duh. Get out. We ain't with that shit. That bullshit. You know what I'm saying? You're bullshit. Get out. We ain't with that little boy bitch. <laughs> so he drove out the man. Maybe I wasn't playing. And he placed at the east of the Garden of Eden, Cher, Cher, he put Cher at the side, Ubims, and a flaming sword, which turned every way to keep the way of the tree of life. So he drove out man, right? Get the fuck out. You suck. You stinky little homie bitch ass. We ain't cool. We ain't dogs. We ain't. He ain't like that. And he placed at the east of the garden of Eden. He put a share in E bombs world and a flaming sword which turned every way. I guess it just followed everybody to keep the way of the tree of life. So that sword was just like, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm on fire. And I'm like, fire and a sword. We had swords, by the way. Apparently. We got swords. We're we're gonna be all right. We got swords already. Like flaming, flaming dragon. We have flaming swords right now. All right. Cain and Abel. Oh shit! Here we go, dude. We're on page three. This is fucked. Okay. And Adam knew Eve, his wife. Now she has a name, by the way. And she conceived, and bare Cain. And said, I have gotten a man from the Lord. I have gotten a man from the Lord in capital letters to Lord. Lord. Blah, blah, blah. I am Lord. No. And Adam knew Eve, his wife. She has a name now because she matters. And she conceived and bare Cain. Cain and Abel. Cain. And said, I have gotten a man from the Lord. So is it like Jesus? So is Cain like Jesus' older brother? Like, think about it. If you got him from the Lord, wouldn't Cain be like Jesus' older brother? Like, you gave her the fruit to bear loins or whatever the fuck it's called. I don't know. I don't know. Um, 
Yeah, it's fucking confusing. And she again bare his brother Abel, and Abel was a keeper of sheep. But Cain was a tiller of the ground, dude. He fucking did landscaping. Other motherfucker fuck with sheep. Ladies, I mean, you take that for what it is. You know he'd go after Cain for life. Or well, Team Cain. But Dean Cain. Dean, you know? Well, is there a Dean Cain? Is there a person named Dean Cain? I don't fucking know what I'm saying. Okay. And she again bare his brother a bell, a apostrophe dash b l, and was a bell was a keeper of sheep, but Cain was a tiller of the ground. Motherfucker worked with his hands, dude. You gotta respect that. And in process of time, it came to pass that Cain brought of the fruit of the ground an offer, an offering unto the Lord. So he's like, bro, I'm gonna keep tilling away. I'm a tiller of the ground, you know, I'm going to respect this natural, what would they say? I'm going to respect the topography, but here we are, and this looks nice, so we're going to till it, and God saw that that was good, and that was cool, and he said like, hey man, I can bring an offering to you of the fruit of the ground I tilled, you know, meanwhile, Cain's mad as hell. He's got a YouTube channel that's not doing too great, and, and he's mad as shit, you know? And, um, he's a keeper of sheep, basically. God made the stars, too, by the way. So, um, Abel also brought of the first firstlings of his flock, and of the fat thereof. And of the Lord had respect unto Abel and to his offering. So, I guess here's what we're saying. We're saying that, like, time came to pass. Cain told on the ground and shit. Or, no, t Cain was a keeper of sheep and shit. Abel, Abel was, like, tolling in the ground with his hands every day, tolling in the soil. What makes a man? You know, he was, like, getting it. Cain was mad about that, and uh, Abel was like, hey, bro, you know, I, I made fruit from the trees, like, that you gave us. Remember the trees? He gave the trees. We got the fruit from the trees of the trees that give fruit for the trees of the seeds of the fruit that trees are made of, and all that, and we got, and God also made the stars. But unto Cain, wait, yeah, but unto Cain and his offering... He had not respect, and Cain was very wroth, and his countenance fell. He's mad as shit at his brother, like, this dude likes you more, because you play with the soil, and you, like, grow in little tree things and shit like that, but, like, I'm a shepherd, and, like, I know what I'm doing, and now we're, you got beef, homie, so I think that's what's happening. And the Lord said unto Cain, why art thou wroth? Why art thou wroth? The Lord didn't say that. I hope the Lord didn't say that, because no one ever wants to talk. Like You don't want to be the dude. You don't want to be the homie like coming down out the clouds. Like, why art thou wroth? You know? Unless you're, what's that guy's name, Tim Roth? Yeah, it don't. We don't talk like that. We don't do that. And why is that continent fallen? Why are you upset? You mad, homie? You must be mad. Why are you mad? Tell me why you're mad. And and tell me what's got your spirits down, basically. That's what's happened. If thou dost if thou dost well, shalt thou not be accepted? And if thou dost not well, sin lieth the door, and unto thee shall be his desire, and thou shalt rule over him. So in a fancy way, that's pretty much saying nothing. That's doesn't mean anything. None of those words make sense together. Um, none of that's a thing. Listen, for real though. If thou dost well, thou sh shalt thou not be accepted. And if thou dost not well, sin lieth at the door, and unto thee shall be his desire, and thou shalt rule over him. 
let's run it back a third time. If thou dost well, right? If you do good, shalt thou not be accepted? Should you not be accepted? If you do good, should you not be accepted? Of course you should. And if thou dost not well, if you don't do good, bro. God, this is killing me. Sin lieth at the door. If you don't do good, it was right there. The sin, the bad stuff, it was right there, I guess. Right there in front of you. You, you walked into it, right? And unto thee shall be his desire. Your own shit that you want. The people you want to fuck that you ain't fucking. And all that stuff is on you, I guess. And thou shalt rule over him. So that's going to rule over you. So, so, if you do good, should you not be accepted? And if you don't do good, then there's sin pretty much like thumbtack, like a line of thumbtacks in the doorway. Don't step on it. And that's your desire. And you, that should rule over you, basically. What the fuck does that? Abel gets murdered, man, of course. <sighs> Maybe this whole thing is to try to teach you to be like, be humble and not be filled with desire and want and continence and, and, you know, the firmament and all that stuff. But like, why can't we just be real about it? Why can't we just say, dude was jealous. He beat his brother to death with a rock because he sucked and he was a shitty, he was kind of a shitty person. Fuck his continence. You know? Fuck his Roth. Fuck his Tim Roth. Like, we don't kill our brother. I have a brother, personally. I love my brother very much. Me and my brother don't always get along, but I absolutely love my brother, and my brother is the most important person in the world to me, and I couldn't hit him with a rock and kill him. Like, that's stupid. You're an asshole. Right? And Cain talked with Abel, his brother, and it came to pass, when they were in the field... That Cain rose up against Abel, his brother, and slew him. So they're toiling in the soil, basically. And he had a talk with Abel. Why? Why? What's up with all the... I don't know. I know it's Abel. Cain and Abel. Cain rose up against Abel, his brother, and slew him. They were got in a fight in the field. He's like, motherfuckers, I know it's hot. Yeah, yeah it's fucking hot, ain't it? Yes, it's hot. It's fucking hot, isn't it? Is it not hot out here? And dude was just like, fuck you. I'm fucking going on. And they started slapping the shit out of each other. Like those shows where they slap the shit out of each other, basically. And dude picked up a rock and was like, I'm going to bash your fucking skull. We're done. And the Lord said unto Cain, where is Abel, my brother? Abel. And he said, I know not. Am I my brother's keeper? First off, my dude, you know you're an asshole. Because number one, you killed your brother with a rock. Number two, you're like, am I my brother? Do I pay attention to my brother? Am I the one who has to keep track of my own brother who I murdered? Number 15, Burger King foot lettuce. The thought of someone's feet on your burgers. Fuck off. And the Lord said unto Cain, Where is thy where is Abel thy brother? And he said, I know not. Am I and it's in like italicized. Am I my brother's keeper? And he said, What hast thou done? Because that's why we talk. What hast thou done? Wait, stop. Cain? Cain, stop. What hast thou done? You know? Thy voice of thy brother's blood crieth unto me from the ground. So you didn't even know he was dead. Like, at first it's like, you think that he's kind of like testing this motherfucker. You killed your brother, dude. Like, tell me what you did. And that was wrong. But he don't even know. I hear him crying. Oh, God, I'm going to cry. I'm going to cry. 
Like, that's what's happening. Like, I'm underground. Please help. Yo, what happened to your brother? What happened to Bubby? Like, I don't know. Do I fucking keep an eye on him? Really? Because I hear him. Like, I hear him under, like, these right that you don't hear him? The fuck is happening? His blood crieth unto me from the ground. So I know you killed him. But you don't know he killed him, so you're asking him. Did you? Where's, where's, where's the homie? Oh, I'll fucking know. Do I keep up with him? And now, art thou cursed from the earth, which hath opened her mouth and received thy brother's blood from thy hand? You killed that motherfucker. And now, I guess the earth is cursed for it when thou. Tillest the ground, because that's what you do, dog. You do it best. It shall not henceforth yield unto thee her strength. A fugitive and a vagabond shall thou be in earth. Like, you banish to the twilight zone, motherfucker. Like, we don't like you no more. You're a tiller. Cool, go till the ground. It ain't gonna give you shit. You ain't gonna bear fruit. There's no fruit from the trees of the trees of the trees with the whales and the firmaments and the waters and stuff. And Cain said unto the Lord, My punishment is greater than I can bear. Yeah, motherfucker, you deserve it. Behold! Thou hast driven me out this day from the face of the earth, and from thy face shall I be hid. And shall I be a fugitive and a vagabond in the earth? And it shall come to pass that every one that findeth me shall slay me. Behold, you, you kick me out, you know, and I hid, and I should be that fugitive, fugitive and vagabond that you called me. Where I lay my head is home here, down, 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 and that every one that findeth me shall slay me. Like, everybody sees you as a vagabond. Everybody sees you as, like, a skogamore. And, and you're fucking just nobody. And I feel that. And the Lord said unto him, therefore, Whosoever slayeth Cain, vengeance shall be taken on him sevenfold. And the Lord set a mark upon Cain, lest any finding him should kill him. He was basically like, look, this dude killed his brother. And he's like, I'm gonna pay for this for fucking ever. But you're also like, whosoever shall like fuck this dude up for killing his brother is going to pay for it seven times that fact. Because it's not like, yeah, he was an asshole. He killed his brother. He was kind of a dick about it. You know, am I my brother's keeper? Fuck that guy. He was a dick. But anybody that finds him, tries to kill him should suffer even more. Which, first off, that's kind of stupid and fucked up, and that's, that's like a real shitty stare. That's like, you raped a kid? Oh, that's fucked up, dude. But he so ever shall come and fuck this guy up that did that to that child, that innocent child, shall suffer sevenfold because of reasons. Like, that doesn't... That's really dumb. And that's fucked up. You kind of, like, I get what you're saying, like, it's not holding on to hate, and it's not, it's like, he, he fucked up, and he did some really mean and nasty shit, I could never kill my brother, but, like, I couldn't imagine my brother killing me and being like, alright, cool, now I gotta suffer, where and then God being like, well, anybody that tries to make it even worse on that guy, fuck you, you're getting it as bad as possible, that's stupid, I don't know. Maybe I'm dumb. Who who fucking knows? Cain dwells in the land of Nod. What the fuck is that? What is Nod? 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 What the fuck are we do? What do we... And Cain went out from the presence of the Lord and dwelt in the land of Nod. On the east of Eden. So, on the east of Eden, there's a place called Nod. Nod, if you understand. I feel you. 
and uh, Cain knew his wife, and she conceived and bare Enoch. Enoch. E apostrophe dash N O C H. Enoch. And he built, and he builded a city. And Cain knew his wife, and she conceived and bare Enoch. And he builded a city. And he builded a city. And he called his name of the city after the name of his son, Enoch. And he builded a city. He made the stars too, by the way. And unto Enoch was born Irad. And Irad begat Mehujahel. Mahuj? Mahul? Mahul? And Mahul begat Methuselah. And Methuselah begat Lamech. And Lamech. And Lamech took unto him two wives. Because women were property. Remember that. And they also are wo woe man because of the rib thing. And, and we were asleep. And, and that means that you're property. And we own you. And it's all your fault. That like you ate from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. And Lamech took unto him two wives. And the name of one was Ada. A Ada. And the name of the other was Zilla. Dude, I feel like I'm playing fucking Skyrim. A apostrophe dash D H A. That sounds like a dark elf. And Zil Z I L apostrophe dash L H A. That sounds like a fucking Khajiit. Khajiit does my new wares. Like this is dumb. I'm sorry. Who who told you? Who told you that this was accurate? Man, the more I read into this, the more I dislike it. I'm going to be honest. Like, this is a shitty read so far. It sucks. Um, It's very... It's, it's like... Eh, I kind of get it, but I kind of don't want to get it. And, like, what are you doing? Like, it's okay for you to kill your brother, but, like... You're going to suffer for it later, but because you suffer for it now, anybody that wants to hurt you suffers seven times that amount of agony, even though you're a shitty person and you killed your own bubby. Like, what the fuck is that? And it's woman's fault. And I made the stars. And whales as well, if you didn't remember that part. Oh, my God. Lamech took unto him two wives, and the name of one was Ada. And the name of the other was Zalah. And Ada bear Jabel. Jab Jabal. That sounds like a fucking Mortal Kombat character. He was the father of such as dwell in tents. He was the father of such as dwell in tents. And of such as have cattle. I know this... I know the King James Version of the Bible was translated from other languages to English, but that don't... You can find a better one for that, right? Like, that's... Like, any of us can listen to that and be like, And his brother's name was Jabal. He was the father of all such as handle the harp and organ. And your pastor will be like, Oh, and, and his brother's name was Jubal, right? And, and he was a bard, and he was, like, the father of everybody that ever made music and was creative and stuff. But that's not what it says. It says, and his brother's name was Jubal. He was the father of all such as handle the harp and organ. Ada bear Jabal, he was the father of such as dwell in tents. And of such as have cattle. And his brother's name was Jubal. He was the father of all such handle the harp and organ. And Zalah, she also bear two ball cane. Is this fucking Star Trek? What are we doing? An instructor 
of every artificer in brass and iron. And the sister of Tubal, Cain, was Naama, Nama, Nama. And Lamech said unto his wives, Adah and Zalah, hear my voice. Ye wives of Lamech, hearken unto my speech, for I have slain a man to my wounding and a young man to my hurt. If Cain shall be avenged sevenfold, oh, you shut the fuck up. No, that's, please, that, come on, don't. Boys, that's not, that can't, no, don't do that. If Cain shall be avenged sevenfold, truly Lamech seventy and sevenfold. What the fuck are you saying, dude? Be honest and be clear and speak the truth. What the fuck did I just read? No one's going to read this and be like, yeah, that made sense. Yeah, but no, it was Cain, right? And he was able to kill his brother, right? Get it? <laughs> but he did. And um, if he, if he was going to be like shat on by man, then that man would be avenged sevenfold. What the fuck is any of this? This sucks. Lamech sucks. Cain dwells in the land of Nod. Where did Nod go? Why are we not talking about... Where is Nod? Where is Nod? Where is the land of Nod? What is this? Where is Nod? Tell me what Nod is. In the comments down below, please. All right. Oh. If Cain shall be avenged sevenfold... Truly Lamech 70 and sevenfold. Because words. And at M knew his wife again. Again, by the way. He knew his wife again. He named her Eve because he got to name everything. But he named her Eve. And uh, that's his wife. That's her name. We just kept saying the wifey or the waifu or whatever. And that her name is Eve. It is Eve, like Adam and Eve. That's the thing. And he, and, he, and he knew his wife again. And she bare a son and called his name Seth. Wait, we can't... Hold on. We can't go from Lamech to Adah to Adam to Zalah to Jabal to Seth. What the fuck is that? Yeah, you know, Cain killed his brother Abel, and they came from Eden, from Adam, and the Lord said unto them, Whosoever slayeth Cain, vengeance shall be taken upon them sevenfold. It should be avenged sevenfold. And Cain went out from the presence of the Lord, and Lamech took unto him two wives. One was Adah, one was Zalah. Adah bare Jabal. Jabal was a dude. He dwelled in tents, such as have cattle. And his brother's name was Jabal. Jabal and Jubal and Zalah and she also bared Tubal and and Nama and Na Namana and Lamech and Seth and then Joey. Then we got Joey and Joey's here now. He's the son. He's like if, imagine if I replace Seth with just like Brandon, you know? Lamal and Zalah and Jamek and Jutal and Jabal and Jubal and Tubal Cain. All and then now Joey came in the room and he grabbed some coffee. It's like a sitcom. This is stupid. And they're all avenged sevenfold. Ah, oh, he knew his wife again, and she bared a son and named him Seth Green. For God said, She hath appointed me mother seed instead of Abel. Whom Cain slew. Motherfucker killed him, didn't he? Yeah, and and to Seth, the baby, little Joey, to him also there was born a son. To him, did, did the baby fuck somebody? Did little Seth get his little green on? Like, what are we talking about? His name was Enos. Enos. And he called his name Enos. 
Then began men to call upon the name of the Lord. Guys, what the fuck does this mean, dude? This is stupid. I'm going to be real with you. I'm going to make a, a conscious effort to, to get through this, but I feel like it's going to be a struggle, and I feel like you're not going to be with me on this journey, but that's okay. Adam's descendants. <laughs> this sounds like it's going to be a whole lot of fun for the entire family. This is the book of generations of Adam. In the day that God created man, in the likeness of God, made he him. Male and free female created he them. Don't do this to me again. We already did this. It didn't make sense the first time. Don't do it to me again. What the fuck? Please somebody tell me what the fuck this means. God damn it, Seth. You dick. This is the book of generations of Adam. And the day that God created man in the likeness of God made he him male and female created he them. And blessed them and called their name Adam in the day when they were created. Of course it's Adam. It's all for you, Adam. You big bitch. And Adam, any fucking language, she did it. She grabbed the fruit, actually. I ate it, but, like, it's pretty much on her, right? You gave her to me and created her out of my rib bone, and she, like, did it, though. And, like, fuck her, right? Yeah, no, fuck it. And I'm banished. What happened to the banishing and the floating sword and all that shit? The fiery floating sword. What ha What's happening? I'm avenged. I need to be avenged sevenfold. Adam lived in 130 years and begat a son in his own likeness. So he lived to be absurdly fucking old. And he shot out a little boy that looked like him. And after his image, and he called him Seth. That was Seth, by the way. Rogan. And these days of Adam, after he had begotten Seth, were 800 years. And he begot sons and daughters. And all the days that Adam lived were 930 years that he died. What is this? Oh, uh, what? You're, t you're telling me my, my dude lived to be 930 years old? That's the teaching. My dude, like, began everybody, and then Seth came along. And my bro lived to be, like, 930 years old, dog. Uh, like, I'm just saying, that dude was old as shit. Like, he was, like, a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. 900, Adam, Adam, 930 years old. Rest in peace, Poppy. We love you. We miss you. What the fuck are you teaching? Like, what is this? None of this makes any fucking sense, by the way. There's nothing coherent from page one to page three. This is fucking retarded. Sorry. God damn it. Okay. Adam lived an hundred and thirty years and begat a son in his own likeness and after his image and called his name Toby. And, and the days of Adam after he had begotten Seth were eight hundred years and he begot sons and daughters and all of the days that Adam lived were 930 years. And he died. And now I have a puppy. And I made the stars. This is... God, God damn it, dude. I can't. I fucking... I don't know if I'm gonna make it. I'm on page three. And this is... This is making me want to rip my own fucking eyeballs out of my skull. Who... Like, you can sit here and tell me what everything means all day, but... This is dumb. None of this means jack shit. Like honestly, you can take it as the take it as what you want, boo boo. You mad? Let me know. Smash that dislike button. I don't know. Love you. Like you later.